How are you, sir? Hey. Nice to see you. I'm Jacob Sobro. Yeah. Actually, coincidentally, you, we met up about a year ago in San Diego, and I asked you about similar stuff. Um, can you talk for a minute just about, in your opinion, the state of the voting system in America? We talked a little bit about when I met up with you last time about voter turnout and what you thought we should do to increase the level of voter turnout. Can you yeah. kind of reiterate that now? Sure. Well, I, I think the best way to get to, to get voters to turn out is to inspire them, and that is to, uh, to make them realize that what they're doing at the ballot box is, number one, paid for by our fighting personnel, our men and women in uniform. You know, in the, la in the last century, we lost 619,000 Americans on the battlefields around the world fighting for our freedom. The least we can do is go on down to the, to the neighborhood polling place and exercise that freedom they gave us. And what we need to do is, as office holders and candidates is go out there and inspire the American people to want to come vote for us. We also talked a little bit about, and I was uh, interested to hear that you thought that, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you said to me that you thought we should have uh, paper trails for ballots. Is that right? Yeah, I like paper ballots because I think you've got to have them. I, I've been there in the Broward County Courthouse when they were looking at the real ballots and, uh, and deciding whether there were marks on them or not. Having a real ballot, I think, is important. I'd like to end up with something that is, that's a hard copy that can be looked at and can be, uh, and whatever perforation or punch or mark was on it, You'll ultimately have two or three people decide in that little courtroom like they did in Broward County. It's an imperfect system, but at least you'll have something in your hand. And you won't have to speculate as to what happened with a bunch of numbers. And, and then just finally, um, you know, in 15 of our 50 states, you can't actually vote early or with a no-excuse absentee ballot. You think that there should be a policy change on the federal level to allow for early voting nationally? You know, I think, uh, I think the voting, I think we ought to look at how early this voting can be and how long it can, uh, how long it can, can last or can take place. And, and, uh, and I don't think you want to get to the point where you've got voting that takes place for weeks. So I, so I, haven't, I haven't analyzed that, uh, that issue, but I, I think that having a good solid window for people to vote is important. But I think you, if you leave it open for too long, you, you open the possibility for lots of manipulation. Last question, I promise. Sure. Uh, Tuesday voting, you know, our group is called Why Tuesday. Um, do you, you know, do, first of all, do you, a little bit of trivia. Do you know why it is actually that we vote on Tuesday? And then I'll give you the answer if you don't know. Tell me. In 1845, Congress set it to make it convenient for the largely agrarian society to get to the polls. It was the most convenient day, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday was market day. You couldn't travel on the religious days. Is that right? Yeah. Today in 2007, a lot of people say that's out of date. Maybe we should have a national voting holiday or weekend voting. Uh, you got a position on that? You know, I think the tradition is Tuesday. I like tradition. Great. Thanks, Congressman. Great catching up with you. Okay, good All to right, see you. Thanks. See you back in California. Thanks. Thank you. I know, we're cruising. <laughs> Duncan Hunter, Congressman from California, presidential candidate for the Republican nomination. Why Tuesday candidate challenge.